Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, I'm Peter. In this video we are taking another look at the 177 slug liner with the 1 in 16 twist rate. And the reason for this is because there's a new generation available. And when I say there's a new generation available, it's because there are something called a PID number printed on the liner and you can see them down here. The one with the lower number is the one that I've been testing previously uh, on my channel and the one with the high number is the one that I'll test today. As you can see in the description of the video, I'm saying that it's, it's, it's the second generation, but this is not entirely true because I know that there's a PID number uh, in between these two liners. So maybe it's the third generation, maybe it's the fourth. I'm not completely sure, but I know that the one that I'm testing today is a newer generation of the one that I tested in my previous videos. I'll test the liner on my magnificent forest range here at 100 yards. And this is actually not the first time that I've shot uh, the gun with this liner. I've had it installed for a couple of weeks now, so I know pretty well how it performs or at least which velocity it performs at. So I'll be working my way around like 910 feet per second, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but I'll shoot a full session and then uh, after that I'll come back to a conclusion. The slot that I'll be using and the one that has been performing the best so far is the uh, 20 grainers from H&N. And before I start shooting, I just want you to notice some upgrades that I've done to the gun. Starting out here, uh, I have a, a muscle brake, the MZB45 uh, from Eagle Vision. Um, I've shot it uh, yeah, a, a long time ago, ago but I've uh, introduced it uh, once again to the gun and also before installing this liner so I know that it is, um, it is actually improving my, um, uh, my accuracy by quite a lot. Under that you can see uh, the mount uh, for my, uh, my crony has been upgraded. I've had this uh, carbon tube uh, for years now, but I had this uh, extension uh, archer rail from Eagle Vision as well, and it just happens to, to fit my crony, and I think it looks amazing, and it also makes the gun more stable. And I'm not using these uh, rubber bands to hold the crony in place anymore. I know that some of you has been bugging me for quite a while about that but yeah now it's on there and it's very steady also I have um, I have a new scope mount uh, this is a, a one-piece mount also from Eagle Vision uh, and I've been using a one-piece mount uh, in the past as well uh, from uh, from Eagle Vision as well but this is a, a new one uh, I'll um, I'll um, write it down here which number it is. I can't really uh, remember uh, the, the, the specifics. But anyway, these are the upgrades that I've done. So with that said, I'm ready to test the new liner. That's a good little group there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the end of a very long session. The group that I just shot was a 27 millimeter group and it also happened to be the best group of the entire session. The other groups were, as you saw here, a 28 millimeter group. Here, another 28. And here another 27 millimeter group. So not all that impressive, but 
I've been shooting the, this liner a couple of times on this range, on this uh, distance, and I have uh, performed some uh, some groups below uh, 20 millimeters. So I know that it is capable of this. But if I'm to compare this to the older version of the 1 in 16 slot liner, um, I would say that the average group size of this one is better than the previous version. The previous version was able to shoot a lot of uh, very super tight groups. You've seen me on this channel shooting groups of 11, 13 millimeters at this distance. But the thing about that is that it immediately after shooting a super tight group, it could uh, it could be a four or five centimeter group. So the inconsistency was definitely there. So if I'm to choose uh, between these two liners, there's no doubt that I'll choose none of them. I will go back and reinstall my one in 18 heavy liner because I know that it is, uh, it's just more consistent and it shoots a, 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 yeah, a lot of slugs uh, better than uh, these um, slug liners has done. The story about this slug liner is that it came from a DRS Pro that I just bought. And because I didn't, uh, I, di I, I didn't know the liner uh, too well, uh, I wanted to install a heavy liner that I know inside out. So I know that when I take the DRS Pro and start to uh, to test that, I'll know exactly uh, what uh, um, what the gun does and what the liner does. So that's the conclusion of the slug liner so far. I hope that you. Uh, yeah, you can use this uh, this information. So that's all I had to say for this one. So until next time, take care and pew, shoot safe.